Hey SLPs, today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can use an Osmo base and your iPad and turn it into a document camera so you can use your favorite books, toys, and materials real time on your computer screen. So specifically, I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up for PC users. If you have a MacBook, I will send you, so I'll put some blog posts in the, in the comments for you to go check out how to set it up. It's super easy. And it can be really easy for you PC users too. So one little roadblock that you might face if you are using a district uh, laptop or computer that's a PC device, you may have to get approval from your district tech department to download the extra software. So all you really need is your Osmo base, an iPad, the USB cord, and then you need a, a, a mirroring software. So the two that are really good are Mirroring 360, and the one I'm gonna show you today is free, and it's called Let's View. So let's go check out how to set it up so that you can start planning engaging therapy virtually with all your favorite toys, like your sensory bins, your books, games, anything that you have, you can now use it in therapy. All right, let's check it out. Okay, now that you have um, everything set up over here for your Osmo, you're gonna go to letsview.com. And they're under their products, this is a free mirroring software, you're gonna click Windows. You are then gonna download the Windows version of Let's View. So this is a free wireless screen mirroring software. Once it downloads, it's gonna look like this and it's going to tell you this is this is your phone or your iPad and in order to get your phone or your iPad to be mirrored onto the computer screen you're going to have to put in the little code that they send you so do not put my little code put the little code that they give you and click start okay then you're going to go to um, your iPad and you are going to Then you're gonna to go to your iPad and swipe down to where you see all these little buttons. You are gonna click the screen mirroring button. And what pops up is the let's view and you're gonna click that. And now your iPad is mirrored. So you will be able to use any of the iPad apps um, and use them in therapy with your students but in particular, if you want to use the Osmo as a document camera projector, you're going to download the Osmo projector app. Once that's downloaded, you're going to click it. And actually, let me do that again so you guys can see what it looks like from start to finish. You're going to click the app and it's gonna ask you to say start. So now whatever is on your pad is now being projected on your screen. So once we do that, that was the hard part. Now we're in a Zoom meeting. Here I am, I'm pretending I'm at the beach because it's so much more fun than <laughs> what we're dealing with. Let's just be real. Okay, so I wanna show you, um, like, okay, let's, I'm gonna show you what it's like when you screen share and you wanna have, so you can put a PDF on one side and then your live mirroring software on the other. So if you wanna do that, you're gonna click, I wanna share my whole screen. And now I become little and this is what the child's gonna see. So let's say that I wanted to use, um, Let's say I want to use the annotation tool in Zoom. I have this and I want to stamp. So maybe I want my students, I said, okay, hey, we're going, you're going to pick your word. And this dinosaur wants to chomp, 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 whatever word you pick. And so they'll say, I want to pick knock. So you can pick that up and then you say, okay, he has to, to chomp it. Oops, let's see. In order to chomp knock, you have to say your word five times. And so then the student says chomp five, or sorry, not chomp, knock five times. Knock, 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 knock. Oh, great job, I heard your back sound. I heard it. Let's have this dinosaur chomp, chomp, chomp. 
and he says crunch 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 so you could even come up with a term that goes with your you know your K productions that would be fun so then they pick their next card oh what do you want the dinosaur to chomp lake okay let's do lake 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 and then it's like do you want the red dinosaur or the green dinosaur to chomp I want the green dinosaur so then they pick up the card you see how they're seeing all that mmm chomp 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 okay so you can use any of your cards that you, you know, maybe you've already printed out or games. And then if you have visual supports that are PDF versions, you would just upload that as half the screen. I'm gonna show you one more thing. You can screen share just the let's view if you want. I don't really, oh why is it doing that? That's not what I want. <laughs> So there it is that's what you want to share um, so then it will do that but honestly if you're just wanting to share your screen you can do that directly in zoom um, you would go to iPhone iPad and share it and then oh it says okay never mind let's just not even share that so there then you can share just the video and this is what the child will see right here um, and you can manipulate things that are on the pad so so when you have cards that you like to use you can hold it up to the mirror so they can see it and that might just be easier than you trying to hold it up to the screen for them um, and like I said you can have little fun toys that you can use with your students so I hope this was helpful and you are able to successfully mirror your iPad with the Osmo so you can have more engaging lessons in teletherapy with your younger and older students. I know it's been a challenge for certain kids to be engaged with this activity. So I hope this tutorial on how to turn your Osmo base and iPad into a document camera has been helpful. Please leave comments below if you have questions and give me feedback about what other types of tutorials you would need to help serve your students well. So I hope this helps you inch a little bit forward at being the SLP that every kid wants to see, no matter if you're in person doing a hybrid or teletherapy session. All right, everyone, I hope you have a great week.